Ready or not, like it or not, here it comes, the VAT. But for the Senusha Hotel and Tourism Association, a final appeal is being made in an effort to have the government revoke the decision to impose VAT on service charge. If that is not done, the umbrella grouping says its members will have no choice but to downsize in order to avoid closure. Hello everyone, welcome to the CTV News on Calabash TV. I am Alyssa Joseph. The SLHDA convened an emergency press conference Thursday to air its concerns on the VAT. The association says while it sympathizes with government's need to raise revenue, it cannot be done at the expense of businesses in the country, let alone interests in the mainstay of the local economy. The SLHDA has warned that if imposed, the security of jobs with the tourism within the tourism hospitality sector will not only be threatened, but there will be jobs lost. Here's a comprehensive report on that very important press brief. The SLHDA is clear in its assessment that if the value-added tax VAT comes into effect as proposed, it would increase the cost of doing business for the industry's various subsectors, and that would mean instability, especially for jobs. We are very proud time and time again to boast about tourism's contribution to St. Lucia's GDP, and to call into account the 12,000 direct jobs that are generated from tourism and the 30,000 indirect jobs that are generated through tourism and the many linkages that tourism continues to um, support um, in a time when so many, many other sectors have been found wanting and are unable to make the kind of contribution to supporting St. Lucia's economy that it made in the past. And we would hate for uh, a negative impact of VAT on business practices to be that um, it adds to the unemployment levels as business scramble and struggle to maintain uh, a, profit, uh, a profitable uh, enterprise and to continue to, to stay afloat. The SLHD concedes that workers will not be the ones made to pay the VAT on their service charge pay, but argue that because it is an additional charge to the consumer, workers may end up seeing much less of the service charge they are used to, as consumers may shy away from paying more on their bill. The VAT rate for hotels stands at 8.8%. It replaces the 8% hotel accommodation tax. But what is worrying is the fact that hotels will have to absorb the cost of the additional 0.8% in cases where bookings were done in advance of VAT. In some instances, Bookings were done a year in advance. Let's say it's $100 per night before the tax and service charge. Under the HAT regime, you would have added the 10% service charge on that base rate of $100. Then the 8% HAT would also be added again on that base rate of $100. So the final price to the tour operator would be $118. They'll add their markup, etc. Now you're looking at a com complete change in the calculation where you're going to be levying that 8% VAT on top of the service charge, which would lead to a price of $118.80. Again, what's 80 cents? Well, I use a rate of $100 a night. There are a lot of hotels who sell rates at 100 a night. You're talking some hotels that are luxury and sell at 2,000, 3,000 a night. You multiply that by the number of room nights that are generated. It is a major impact, a major increase to the final consumer. And we did a quick calculation at our case in Bay Gardens Resorts, who we're a medium-sized property, lower end of the scale in terms of the rates. We're still talking a few hundred thousand dollars a year. How does one absorb an additional cost of a few hundred thousand a year in this economic environment? It, I don't know how other hotels will react um, or other businesses will absorb it, but I know that a lot of hotel members have indicated that they'd have no ad additional alternative than to affect, than to reduce the employment levels. And that will obviously have an impact on employee morale and employee um, welfare if employment levels have to be reduced. A lot of our members have indicated that to us. Service charge is a discretionary charge applied by establishments and is not taxable to the government, not from the wages of workers, nor from the employers. When collected, a percentage of the total is distributed to the employees. Under the VAT regime, the total collected will be VATed. The SLHD says if not revoked, members can decide to remove the service charge and simply encourage patrons to tip staff at a recommended 10%. But Mr. Destang believes tips at 5%
may be given instead. In, in so many different ways, this will lead to a reduction, a direct reduction in um, the service charge available to um, distributor employees because it will lead to reduction in revenue or even if revenue stayed the same, some, a lot of our members have indicated they may just remove the service charge completely from the bill and that's just a fact and this is what was done in, in Grenada and 18 months later they had to change course and you know, levy the, um, the VAT on the base price and not on the service charge. We also had a situation in St. Kitts where that was attempted again and again the same result after a few months the government had to reverse. I mean, we're the last country in the Eastern Caribbean to implement VAT. I, I think we need to learn from the mistakes of our members and not make the same mistakes twice because the, the end, at the end of the day both businesses and employees lose. There's no way that any business can continue to sustain losses without having an impact on employees one way or the other. Restauranteurs are also skeptical about the proposed imposition. Renowned chef Boba Bergstrom says restaurants have been taking a serious hit for years and most importantly to their survival is a vibrant local economy. Nine months of the year we are heavily depending on the local economy. If the local economy now go from zero percent which we had before, we had no tax on local restaurants before, we gone from zero percent to sixteen and a half percent if we put in uh, the new uh, VAT on uh, service charge into the calculation. That will be, of course, a serious impact. Uh, uh, take on that, that the VAT is now implemented in the difficult situation where we have no tourists, and really, uh, as we talk about, in October and November, uh, and the effect now going to be quadrupled in terms of, of uh, the visiting customers to our, to our business. Uh, everybody going to think twice of, of going out to spend and see the cost have increased about 15 to 16 half percent. Chef Bobo says while doing away with the service charge in favor of a tip system may seem as an option, it would not be to the benefit of all workers as the service charge has been. Front of house staff yes. will actually benefit from that. Mm -hmm. All the back of house staff, which are talking about cooks and uh, housekeeping to an extent, port porters who have the lowest income, they will have no tip. The service charge is equally distributed among the staff in the whole property of restaurant or hotel, whilst a tip scenario is only distributed to the person who received the tip. If they don't come up to an idea to share it, but that will not probably be likely, that doesn't really happen in reality, uh, but, but it happens in many places. Uh, but if we, if we go from a, from a mandatory or so to speak service charge charge to a tip environment, uh, the majority of, or a big vast majority of, of, uh, of uh, our employees are going to be heavily hurt of that.